close your eyes and watch your breath, which of course means you watch it with your feeling. How does it feel when it comes in? How does it feel when it goes out? In what way does it feel nourishing? If the breath doesn't feel very nourishing, could it be more nourishing than it is? And the mind needs to feed, so give it some good food right here. Learn how to fix your breath food so that it feels good for the body and provides a good place for the mind to stay. And that way the mind's tendency to go feeding on other things gets weakened. Because that's a lot of why we suffer. We go feeding on all kinds of garbage, and then when our stomach aches we complain. Well, it's because we were feeding on things that were not healthy. We need to learn to get some control over the mind, control over its feeding habits. It's like someone who knows that a particular food is going to be bad for their health, but they go ahead and eat it anyhow. A lot of our thinking is bad for the health of the mind, especially when we meet up with things like disappointment, we meet up with separation, loss, aging, illness, and death, our own or that of other people. The mind tends to go all over the place grabbing onto this, grabbing onto that, and doesn't realize that it's feeding on a lot of things that are going to be really bad for it. And so you need to use your mindfulness and alertness to stay here with the breath and strengthen your mindfulness and alertness by doing that. Right now there might not be any really outrageous things that the mind is feeding on, but it will have its moments, and you want to be prepared for those moments. And just because something comes up in the mind doesn't mean you have to think it or believe it. It's like eating everything you come across as you go along a path, and you die. There's all sorts of stuff out there that is not food and is actually poisonous. So you have to be very careful about where your mind feeds. And you find it sneaking off to feed on things that are not good for it, you've got to learn how to catch it and bring it back. Those are a lot of the skills we learn as we meditate. Getting the mind to feed on healthy food and then teaching it how to see. That healthy food is good for it. Sometimes people who have been used to junk food and health food has, you know, has totally tasteless for them, but it takes a while to clean out all the old junk from their system, and then they begin to realize that healthy food really is what tastes good, really is good for them. So it takes some, mind to train, some time to train the mind sometimes. But you're going to be happy you did. So instead of creating a lot of trouble for yourself, the mind can actually be your friend and give you energy when you need it, give you encouragement when you need it. Keep your spirits high when everything else around you is going low. <laughs>